Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to organize The Lost Ruins of Arnak by Min and Elwin, published by CGE. Now this is a fully sleeved copy of the game, but let's take a look inside. So right off the bat, we lift off the top here, and you'll see that we have multiple little organizers. Now first off, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside the bags. So we have these print and play solo cards, all sleeved in their own private bag. You have all of the components that you'll be needing to start each game in this bag. So you've got the round marker for the staff here. We've got the first player marker, as well as the action spaces, kind of blockers based on the player count, as well as the different tablets that you're going to put on the research track based on the player count. So I just store them all in a bag because you can simply dump them out and put them where they need to go and then return any that you're not using back into this bag. Up next, we have all the different player pieces. So we have our two explorers, our magnifying glass, and our notebook, as well as the appropriate player cards. Now note, there are no of uh, the fear cards in here. So do not put the fear cards in here because during the game, if the fear cards run out, then you have to take even worse tokens, these negative two tokens. So you gotta make sure that all the fear cards stay in the deck until you're actually ready to play because based on the player count, that will affect the game as a whole. So do not put the fear cards in here with the starting uh, character cards. So but you'll have that for each of the four character colors. In this bag here, we've got all of your player cards. So this is going to be all of the items as well as the artifacts and the fear cards. So you simply pop this open and put it out. Underneath here, we've got the different player boards for the different players, all different colors, and you have the gray for the solo. In these small ramekins, we're gonna put all of the resources. So these are very easy to buy. They're 10 for a dollar. You can get them at the Dollar Tree, local dollar store. Nice little ramekins. You put the little lid on the bottom like this, put them on the table. And this game does come with a board that's gonna have designated spots for them. So you'll put them under and then put them in their designated spot. So you'll have that for all of the main types of resources. You get your discovery, your gems, you've got the coins, the arrowheads, and lastly, the tablets. So I love the resources in this game. They're just a lot of fun. And then up here we have another container and this is going to be a makeup organizer. This is also from the dollar store and you definitely could just use plastic bags in this case, but you do want them organized um, this way. So first up we've got all your solo cards here. These are the solo tiles. These are not from the print and play. These do come with the game. So you can leave them in here because on the right side, we're gonna have our times three and our extra fear tokens. This is what I was talking about when I said those, uh, the number of fear cards does matter. So you'll take one of these if there are no fear cards to take. You also have times three multipliers in case resources are getting low. You also have these discovery tiles. You'll shuffle them up and then place them where they belong. So whether it be on the research track or face up on that research track as rewards. So these are nice because you can just simply shuffle it and put them where they belong. You've got all the assistants that are here and you'll keep them on that silver side, shuffle them up and then put four in each. You can shuffle them at the end of games instead of the start, that way you're ready to go. And lastly, you've got, similarly to these uh, research tiles, you've got all of these idols and the idols have the bonuses on the front and nothing on the back. So you shuffle these up and place them appropriately on the different temples that you're gonna be discovering. So super straightforward here, and then they're easy to store. You can store multiple things in one compartment, but I figured I like this layout. Up next on the left side here, we've got all the tiles, the large tiles. But first we've got some extra sleeves just in case these run out. I'll put the link in the description of the sleeves that I use for this game. They're all standard size, except for the print and play. Those are gonna be mini American, uh, not mini American, mini European. We've got the two, types of temples stacked, the ones that you're gonna be exploring in this upper left corner. And then we have all of the monsters, the guardians. And the guardians are simply in a cardboard separator. So this is actually cut from another game. You could definitely, once again, just put these in a plastic bag, set them here, and then your other components can just fit nicely there. So the whole goal is to not put them in bags because putting things in bags honestly takes a little bit of time to put things in and take things out, specifically with these larger tiles. So if you can avoid that, do it. But sometimes, as you saw with the player components or with the other components here, sometimes it can't be avoided. 
Underneath here, we've got all the remaining boards. This is that inventory board that's gonna hold all your resources. It works nicely because you can just open it up, put it under, and then place it where it belongs. If you wanna see a little bit more of the artwork, you can just go like this instead, and that works too. So that's gonna go under here. We've got our reference cards, as well as the rule book, and not the rule book, the reference cards in the score bed. You've got your rule book. And then lastly, you've got the board. One thing to mention in this rule book here, we do have the solo rules for the Arnax solo mini expansions. That's gonna incorporate those cards that we printed. And that's everything in the box. So let's go ahead and put it back. So first off, we'll start with that giant game board. Then we'll put the rule book with the solo rules inside. We'll take the large board. We'll take the player aids and the score pad. We'll take the player boards. We'll take the guardians and put them in here. Slide that to the left. We'll take all of the tiles for the new spots you'll be exploring. We'll take all of the upgrade cards, the tools and the artifacts, and slot them into this corner. We'll take our organizer for our tiles on the side there. We'll take all of our little ramekins and fill in this divot here. Then we'll take our starting components, our starting player pieces, our solo cards for the print and play, extra sleeves just on top there, and a pencil for that score pad. And that is organizing the Lost Ruins of Arnak. If you have any questions about what you saw here, please let me know down in the comments below. How do you organize your game of Lost Ruins of Arnak? Is there anything you'd like to see us organize in the future? I'd love to hear what you think. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. It really helps us grow. Thank you so much for watching. Side Game Strong.